Hi everyone, today we'll be preparing a recipe from Rwanda called Rwandan Beef Stew and Ugali. Uh, we're excited to try another new dish and hope you will enjoy our little video. Hey guys, we are getting ready to try the Rwandan beef stew for week four of our international cooking challenge. Are you guys ready? Okay, everybody go in for the taste test. It looks a little bit...
It tastes kind of weird. Mm. That's the taste of ice. Tastes weird. Tastes weird. Tastes like beef stew. Tastes like beef no, stew. No, I tried the corn mashed potatoes. I did. But the corn mashed potatoes are weird. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Can you guys tell there's plantains in it? They're bananas. Mm hmm I like bananas. Hmm. That's not too bad. It does taste like beef stew. Let me try it with the corn stuff. Does it taste spicy? Mm-mm. It tastes like normal corn meal. knew it was spicy. <clears throat> Is it too spicy? It tastes fine. A little bit too spicy for the kids? No, for me. No. I like the, um, the flavor's still pretty good. It's kind of tomatoey. Mmm. Very much like beef stew. And the ugali, which is that blue corn stuff, um, the texture is a little bit like rice porridge. All in all, I'd say probably not going to eat it again. <laughs> Just because it's too spicy for the kids. It's not for me, it's just the corn stuff that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Hey, so I wanted to give another go at this. Um, after I tried it with the kids, uh, it, I, it actually started to grow on me, the flavor. Um, you have to kind of get over the texture of the ugali, which is yeah, the corn stuff. And the plantains have a little bit of a sour uh, aftertaste. So once you uh, get past that, the, the dish itself actually starts growing on you. So let me take another bite. Oh, do that. <laughs> And the flavor, it actually tastes a lot better um, once you get used to it because the texture is a little bit different. The ugali, once it mm, mixes in with the beef stew, ends up kind of tasting like a, um, almost like the, excuse me, the texture of a tamale. Anyway, so... I might be making this again after all. Okay, bye. All right, let's find out what the next country will be. Hi! Well, week five of the International Cooking Challenge. Cuba! <laughs> all right, yeah. let's see how this goes. Hello, see you everyone. next week.
Hey, so I wanted to give another go at this. Um, after I tried it with the kids, uh, it I, it actually started to grow on me, the flavor. Um, you have to kind of get over the texture of the ugali, which is, yeah, the corn stuff. And the plantains have a little bit of a sour uh, aftertaste. So once you uh, get past that, the... It, the dish itself actually starts growing on you. So let me take another bite. Oh, big bite. Mmm. And the flavor, it actually tastes a lot better. Um, once you get used to it, because the texture is a little bit different, the ugali, once it mm, mixes in with the beef stew, ends up kind of tasting like a, um, almost like the, excuse me, the texture of a tamale. Anyway, so I might be making this again after all. Okay, bye.